Guys, today we're watching some Tupac. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos too. All right, now though, let's turn to Tupac Shakur. Tomorrow comes the new five-part Hulu docu-series, Dear Mama, that examines his relationship with his mother, Afeni. The show is, of course, titled after his 1995 hit. In 96, though, Tupac was tragically killed following a drive-by shooting Aww. in Las Vegas. Yeah. Four weeks before that tragic passing, he sat down, we sat down with Tupac for what would have been one of his final interviews. I can act. No one alive. Wait, I think. What? Bro, some nigga said this nigga didn't even die, man. Some nigga said this nigga's still alive. I don't know. With sanity, has as much life experience to draw from. Where I used to just like... Interviews. I can act. No one alive, I think. With sanity, has as much life experience... Well, I've never seen this interview before. I actually never seen him wearing a suit. Experience to draw from. Where I used to just like... Yeah, he's wearing a suit, man. Like, look up to Robert De Niro and Al Pacino it was because of their intensity but they couldn't touch me with intensity neither one of them had been shot five times neither one of them had been to jail Tupac was referring to when he was shot five times and robbed in the lobby of a New York City recording studio yeah she man this nigga's been through a lot man look at him man he's a warrior been shot five times then he died on the sixth time. They had to shoot him six times to kill him, man. You know what I'm saying? It took him six times to try and kill him. Oh, remarkably, he lived to tell us about it in this lost interview that took place on August 21st, 1996. Eerily, it was just two weeks before Tupac was fatally gunned down in what many say was an act of gang violence. We were on the set of his film Gang Related, where he and Jim Belushi starred as corrupt cops in this crime thriller. So he was making films and acting, too. It's the wow. last time, Frank. Last time we killed somebody. But we also saw a lighter side of Tupac on oh, set, like when he and Jim sang Frank Sinatra songs together. <laughs> well, see this? Fly me to the moon. This is it. I will sing. No, let me play. play it's been estimated Tupac has sold over 125 million Ooh. records worldwide. Dude, that's, that's a record right there. That's This is the best rapper that's ever lived, hands down, man. You know what I'm saying? If you guys disagree, Say who you think is better in the comment section. But you may not remember how accomplished of an actor he was. Then 25, Tupac told us about the moment his mother, Afeni, realized how far he'd come after he told her James Earl Jones was one of his co-stars in Gang Related. Never tell her who I'm working with, but that one was one I felt like she would feel like, oh, you're for real. You know what I mean? Like You're not just out there. <laughs> he really doing so. In Dear Mama, we see how Afeni shaped Tupac into one of the most influential artists in pop culture through the lens of rare interviews, including this one with a 17-year-old Tupac. My mother taught me to analyze society and not be quiet. My mother was a Black Panther, and she was really involved in the movement. My mama was a crack addict. I ended up in Baltimore on welfare with no lights on in high school. Afeni, who passed away in 2016. Right, this nigga was living rough and raw, man. Did you hear what he said? Let's listen to that again. And she was really involved in the movement. My mama was a crack addict. His mama was a crack addict. Ended up in Baltimore on welfare with no lights on in high school. Afeni, who passed wow. away in 2016, tells the story the of their complicated relationship through voice recordings. It was That's my amazing. responsibility to teach Tupac <laughs> how to survive his reality. I have spent a great deal of my own life in prison. I never wanted it to happen to my son. Despite his extensive struggles with the... Wait, what? Is that his license? Look at that, man. 5 foot 11? Wait, so he was 5 foot 11? Dude, that's actually so bad, man. He couldn't make it to 6 foot, man. I'll be mad. Law, there's no denying Tupac made a positive impact by speaking out for the black community. My mother never let me forget my history. Hoping I was set free. The chains up put on me. No one could, could come close to my my creativity, how much material I put up. He, bro, he's real, man. You know what I'm saying? No one, even till this day, bro, nobody comes close to his creativity. In the streets or anything like that. At the time of his death, Tupac's life was at an... No one could, could come close to my, my creativity, how much material I put on the streets or anything like that. At the time of his death, Tupac's yeah. life was at an all-time high. <laughs> he was in a serious relationship with Kadada Jones and he was also looking forward to the future professionally, as we saw when we were on the set of Gridlocked, another film he made just weeks before he was killed. What's up next for you after this project? Forward, up, faster, bigger, taller. I got things that's in front of me, but I won't know till I step in it. 
Dear Mama, the saga of Afeni and Tupac Shakur is out tomorrow on FX and streaming on Hulu. Wow, that's it, man. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, be sure you leave a like, subscribe, check out my other videos too. I love you in a month.